My name is Charlotte Overbold. I'm a contemporary traditional artist from Yellowknife and WT, also known as Samba Kid and Day. And today I'm going to show you guys how we do these beautiful fishbone butterflies. First thing you're going to need is uh, a fish. So you could get one over uh, on the beautiful lake here, Great Slave, or down at the market. We got our little frozen fish, so let's go. So now that the fish is harvested, we're going to clean off the bones. And uh, this is going to be the butterfly. Mmm, that's so good. We begin by gessoing the bone, and that's to bring it to one flat color. And now that we've gestured the bones, we're gonna paint them up. And we're just going to do the same thing as we did before. Start with the back and then move to the front. Traditionally, this isn't part of my culture, but I believe that traditional art is something to be shared and celebrated, um, and especially so that we don't lose the style. It's great because traditional art is sort of like using every part of the animal, but also being able to create something really beautiful out of it. Okay, these look good, these little red willows. We're gonna use them for the frame. Ooh, that's kind of nice, take that one. I like working on the land uh, just because uh, you can pull a lot from nature and it makes me feel more connected, connected to the earth, connected to my culture and uh, the beauty that's nature. Next up is trimming the willows. We're going to use it as the backdrop for what we fasten our butterflies to. Now that the butterfly wings are dry, we're going to fasten them to the body, uh, which is typically the spine of the fish. And then we're going to fasten the antennas onto the butterfly, which are made out of the ribs of the fish. So we have it all fastened and now we're going to just fasten it to the birch bark backing with the willow, red willow frame. Just put a little bit of glue on both and hopefully it's going to stick together. And that is how we do butterfly fishbone art.